All right, very good. Happy Monday. Hi, everybody. Hello. Say good morning, but I know we're all over the all world. Over the world. So, good morning, good afternoon. Yeah. What are we talking good about today? Good evening. We, today we are talking about coffee, our organic coffee. Um, coffee is something, I mean, I think majority of us enjoy. Uh, and we have a really cool one we've made for you guys with lots of additional um, health benefits added into it. Uh, Ryan's going to go into the a little bit of the statistics. Sure. About coffee drinkers. Yeah, there's a lot of us for sure. Uh, no wonder why it's so widely celebrated. About 150 million just in our country in America. I mean, worldwide, billions of people. This is drink at least one cup of coffee a day. 150 million people. That's over half the U.S. population. I mean, that's you know a lot, a lot of coffee. There's a lot of demand on coffee. And then you look at somebody like a Starbucks, 30. 4,000 locations across 80 countries doing 30 billion in revenue per year. I mean, big, big business. Um, you know, and, you know, when you look at like an organic, like a Starbucks coffee, I mean, you're charging an average cup of coffee is about 275 or something like that. And that's just one cup. That's the very low end. Yeah, that's on the low end. Because most people get, yeah. you know, the fancier version. Yeah. And about 80% of us, though, of, of even just that 150 million, 80% are brewing at least one cup at home. Right. So yeah. Starbucks is doing good business, even with that many people still brewing at home. So let's talk a little bit about why coffee is to be not to be celebrated in a lot of ways. There's a lot of problems, right, with coffee. Do you want to sort of kick that off? Uh, sure. So first off, coffee is one of the most chemically treated plants. I mean, that, that that's pretty crazy. So if you think about um, if you're buying. So let's think about ours. Ours is organic. But if you're buying a non-organic coffee, uh, the beans have, are sprayed with pesticides and pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. All these uh, are cancer causing, they damage the reproductive system, the nervous system. Um, so that's one major benefit of our coffee is the fact that we have this USDA certified organic. Now let's just circle a little bit back to the Starbucks because when I was, I um, we did a rest stop there the other day on our road trip just so I could use the restroom. And I happened to just look over at the menu. I was like, I wonder if they even have an organic coffee. And I didn't see one organic coffee on their menu. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So think mm -mm. about that, all the statistics you just said about yeah. Starbucks and that's everybody going into that Starbucks consuming a non-organic cup of coffee, which yeah. would obviously be sprayed chemically treated. Yeah. Um, yeah, but what you're, what you're saying, about 95% of coffee is, is commercially grown, right? And it's, it, it's unfortunate because it's a difficult crop to grow anyway. So they, they have to really enhance it with a lot, of, like you said, pesticides and herbicides and chemical, like they have to, synthetic chemicals, they have to cover in it. But the benefits of coffee are really rich in antioxidants and a lot of other compounds. But the commercially harvested stuff, so when it gets harvested and when it goes into manufacturing and production, it basically then eliminates even more of some of those beneficial ingredients too. So that commercial coffee is better not consumed. Right. Right. And really, honestly, that's the majority of coffee that people are consuming. So that's why we really yeah. wanted to bring to you, uh, you guys an organic, yeah, organically grown coffee. Absolutely. Yeah. Without a doubt. It's the only way we would do it. I mean, when we looked at coffee use, we're coffee drinkers. We're like, oh yeah, absolutely. And then how do we make it better? So first of all, we take, are we good to move on and talk about the well, coffee? Should I go into the talk? Yeah, go ahead. I just figure uh, as, I'm, as I'm talking about the negative things about, you know, this inorganic commercially produced coffee, I'm going to go into mycotoxins. Um, if you haven't heard of my, mycotoxins, a lot of people um, know of them as certain molds, but they grow from uh, fungi. And the, fu the fungi that these grow on are also really grown in the wet areas that the coffee bean is also grown in. So that's why co coffee bean itself is uh, one of the highest um, uh, in molds and mildews, yeah, in and, mold, yeah. mildews and mycotoxins. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just going to pick out one of the main ones in coffee. Um, it's abbreviated OTA, okra toxin A. Um, this mm -hmm. is when they when they um, sampled coffees in the study that I was looking at, 50% of them were, of the beans were contam contaminated by this OTA. Yeah. Um, bad news for the body. Um, this OTA leads to serious health risks. Uh, it can lead to kidney disease and ad adverse neurological effects. Um, you know, just really overall, it just hurts the body and, and causes disease. Um, and we are exposed to mycotoxins uh, on a regular basis. So we have, just like we're exposed to other toxins. So we have to work even harder to uh, control what we can control. And what can we control? We can make sure that every time we're drinking a cup of joe, we are drinking an organic live good cup of coffee. 
um, I don't know. So I'm just, I'm big yeah. into the mycotoxins. Yeah, I know, no, know that it, it hits home for me a lot. So of course, yeah, no, of course. And that's just more of the reasons why when we focus on the coffee, we say we're going to do a single source coffee, which means it comes from one farm. Mm -hmm. It's an Arabica coffee. It's hundred percent USDA certified organic. Now, obviously coffee has caffeine and that's one of the better benefits of it. It has a psychotropic or a psychoactive uh, effect, right? So it increases, can kind of sort of cause that sympathetic nervous system response, like that fight or flight that increases heart rate and gets you going. So for a lot of people, and I just saw a question come in, I, I'm sensitive to caffeine. Can I drink your coffee? Well, that's a, that's a tough question. It's a yes and a no. For me, I'm a slow metabolizer of caffeine. So I have to limit the amount of caffeine I drink and stop early in the day. Otherwise it can negatively impact my sleep. But caffeine has been shown to have numerous numerous health benefits. There are so many studies coming out right now showing benefit of coffee for uh, neurological disorders like in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. They're showing benefits, big time benefits in cancer and diabetes. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously with weight loss, it, it can be used for weight loss. Now the, the trick though, and this is one of the reasons why we enhance this coffee though. So you got to watch your caffeine intake if you're sensitive, but because it, because it sort of causes that fight or flight response, um, most people think it immediately raises blood pressure and it can do that really quick in the short term, but they've shown now two to three, up to five cups of coffee per day can actually have a beneficial effect in your cardiovascular health, can actually lower blood pressure. The study is inconclusive. However, it has, it did show and it did demonstrate benefits uh, for heart health. So I, I thought that was really important. So we talked about how we enhance the coffee. And I just want to jump quickly into the uh, adaptogenic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to kind of highlight a couple of them and, and how they help. So the adaptogenic mushrooms are the six. And this goes back to so where we just had a presentation on the organic super greens where we talked about Ayurvedic medicine. It's been practiced for six centuries in India. Well, these mushrooms have been used in ancient Chinese medicine. They're still used today, as well as they're used in Ayurvedic medicine, medicine as well. But the, the, so this, the, the mushrooms that we have in here are considered adaptogenic mushrooms. It's, it's one gram of combination of um, reishi, uh, shiitake, cordyceps, king trumpet, uh, lion's tail, and turkey tail. And okay. lion's mane, sorry, lion's mane and turkey tail. Now that combination of mushrooms are considered what they call adaptogenic. So that'll help you, your body adapt to both physiological, physical, and mental stress. So and that's been beneficial. It's been shown to be beneficial, especially with um, balancing out that caffeine question. So if you are sensitive to caffeine, you can start with a, just a little, maybe a half of a cup, but try it and see, because I think the mushrooms do a really good job of balancing yeah. out that fight or flight, that sympathetic nervous system response. Right. You know, and just the healing power of mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I mean, Whew. major, major, major stuff, major stuff, especially the cordyceps. Uh, and of course the rice. The rice so cordyceps have been studied extensively too. A lot, a lot, a lot of data on the cordyceps mushroom. Um, and then the rice, you know, the genus is Ganoderma. So when you hear people reference Gana, Gana mushrooms, the reishi is a Gana mushroom. Yes, I actually had a couple emails. Are mm, we ever going to yeah. have a Gana mushroom product? Yeah. I said, well, we, we, we do. do. <laughs> it's we do. actually the reishi. Yeah, we did. So, which, which is awesome. Um, I know they're very happy to hear that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, uh, Lisa, any more on the mushroom conversation? And the, because there's a few more things we're going to talk about, but I want to make sure we answer everybody's questions too. Uh, no, no more on the mushrooms. All right, good deal. Um, just, I mean, and again, it'd be the fact that our coffee is USD organic, like the whole coffee itself, not just the coffee bean. This is also organic mushrooms. Yeah, every, yeah. every ingredient in it, in our coffee is organic. That's right. Yeah, and you, you know, you might think like, ah, oh, mushrooms, like the flavor, the taste. No, not at all. Uh -uh. It's it's actually a, a very nice. I mean, you can really get the essence of the coffee bean mm -hmm. in the coffee drink. So no, it's good. All right, and then we. So let's talk about what else we've added. So the mushrooms, the six adaptogenic mushrooms, is one thousand milligrams of those mushrooms in the coffee. All right, and then we added maca. And maca is an interesting one. Oh, by the way, the mushrooms come from the fruiting bodies. I meant to I meant to say that because so. So many people ask questions about that. I meant to put it on the website too. Fruiting body, and which is a which is preferred. That's what you want from the mushrooms. All right. Uh, so next up is is maca. So you may or may have heard of maca. It's the root of maca. It is not a hormone, but it does. It has been touted and reported to have a lot of beneficial effects on the endocrine system. So the endocrine system is what regulates all of our hormones in our blood. And there's a lot of hormones in our body, but maca has been shown to be very very beneficial in managing and regulating our hormones, which is really important. Um, 
I know Mock is involved in a lot of supplements for uh, sexual health as well as testosterone. Um, but everything, all the reports I've shown has been beneficial for really the complex of hormones. Yeah. I mean, uh, we've actually been taking maca for, for many years. So yeah. it's just great to have now an addition into the coffee. So we don't have to take a single supplement of maca yeah. in there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. And then what else, we want to talk about green tea. So the next thing that we added to is green tea. And we looked at, we, we said, okay, the benefit, the benefits of caffeine or, or sorry, of the coffee bean are, they're just so rich in, in, in um, phytonutrients, flavonoids, which are antioxidants. There's a lot of benefit uh, in, inside the, the nutrients of the coffee bean. That's why when you go with these commercially harvested, commercially produced coffees, you're getting, you're, there's not nearly as much uh, of the beneficial antioxidants as there is in some of the cleaner single source uh, coffees like this one, like the Live Good Organic Coffee. So we wanted to enhance the coffee a little further and we looked at green tea. So we said, well, green tea is super high in catechins. And I know that's been a question, like the catechin mm -hmm. concentration. Catechins are just, they're a flavonoid. They are an antioxidant. And so a lot of the theories around how, say, caffeine, and in this case, coffee and green tea actually lower blood pressure is due to the fact that they're antioxidants and also due to the fact that they increase the nitric oxide. So you'll hear us talk a lot about nitric oxide and how it opens up the blood vessels to reduce uh, blood pressure so an increased blood flow and perfusion so that is one way to do it so the green tea we added um we for that reason we wanted to enhance it with all the additional beneficial uh antioxidants but while we're talking about the green tea i'm going to throw in there you know we also have this as a we highlight it as a weight management mm -hmm. coffee so oh, sure. the green tea does add to it because it's uh, research suggests suggests that the compounds in it speed up metabolism that's right can help break down uh the cat the catechin catechins yeah, yeah. can help break down um excess fat while you know the, the, the caffeine increases the amount of energy the body uses that's right so just kind of switching gears or going right into the weight management so we mm -hmm. have the green tea but what else have we added we've added soluble fiber we have the acacia gum mm -hmm. no, acacia fiber mm -hmm. and uh wear gum yep. they both act also as prebiotics what would prebiotics do they feed the good bacteria in our gut okay so helps a healthy um, GI system um, helps us feeling full. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. another thing that adds to the, the weight loss as, or the weight management aspect. Okay. You drink your cup of coffee first thing in the morning, you know, with what we've added to it helps your body feel full. So you're not feeling like you need to run uh, to eat something else. And it also helps promote regular bowel function. Okay. So those are all the fibers in it, but also the fact that we have caffeine in it, caffeine does increase metabolism. So not just the caffeine from the green tea, but also the caffeine from the coffee bean helps increase metabolism by, uh, you know, burning more calories, uh, reduces insulin response. Um, yeah, no, so I that's think that's, the, I think fiber. that covers it. Yeah. I think the fiber kind, yeah. kind of covers that. Absolutely. So kind of pull yeah. those, all those together. And it's a really great addition to a um, healthy weight management plan. Now, um, if someone is not looking to lose weight, are you going to lose weight just by drinking the coffee? No, it's all part of a weight management program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And like I said earlier, a little bit about how the studies have supported like heart disease, um, cancer and diabetes. There's also a lot of supporting evidence in the green tea and the uh, beneficial effects on liver, on liver health too. I, I, I forgot to mention that. I didn't want to skip totally over that because that's a big one. Yeah. That's a big one as well. Um, all right. So look, some questions have been coming in. If you're pregnant or nursing, look with caffeine, mm -hmm. it it's, if you, we, we suggest no to just stay on the side, the caution side of it, obviously speak with your pediatrician or, um, OBGYN. OBGYN, yeah. And uh, that's what I meant. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and see what their advice is. I, I'm, I'm just hesitant. I'm reluctant to say that you should consume caffeine while you're pregnant. Um, you said this, was this a sensitive one? Yeah. We commented okay. on the sensitivity yeah. of the caffeine. Yeah. And you know, we get a lot of, um, great testimonials, a lot of feedback with the coffee that, uh, a regular cup of coffee will make somebody jittery, um, kind of upsets their stomach, mm -hmm. makes their heart race, but they're having no response like that to our coffee. So like Ryan said earlier, try it, you know, start low. You can always, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. And this, this coffee is ready-made so you can all actually, it's simple. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. You can, it's simple to make hot or cold water in one scoop, drop it in, mix it real well. And it, you'll find that it's, it's ready to go. It's I mean, ready to drink. So easy. That was one of the one of the benefits of this. No brewing necessary. We did that work for you. Okay. 
Absolutely. To start up and voila, like you said, hot, cold, um, while right now you're talking about other ways that you drink it. Yeah. Um, I actually enjoy putting a scoop of it in my, with my protein powder, with the live good, um, complete plant-based protein powder. Oh, I nice. add it to my protein shake every single morning when I get up from the gym. I absolutely love it. It's not like a super powerful mm -hmm. coffee flavor that like changes the whole, uh, you know, taste of my, sure. my uh, smoothie. Yep. And Ryan's actually done the, the opposite. He's made a war nice warm cup of our coffee and then he's added some of our protein powder to it as like a creamer. Yep. So um, many ways that you can do it. I've had questions um, you guys have asked, you know, can you mix creamer in it or does it, you know, ruin the the effects of the coffee. No, you can, you can add what you, what you want to it. We always just recommend, you know, low sugar, you know, a clean, uh, healthy product yeah, added like, to it. Like MCT oil or coconut oil or something, sure. but please don't spoil it. Don't add these high really sugary syrupy, you know, like mixes. That's just nasty. Destroy the benefits of the coffee. Don't do that. No. All right. I think that, well, that was one, that was one point I want to make, but what's interesting, this cup of coffee right here would be about 60 cents. So that, that basic cup of coffee at Starbucks, it costs two seventy five dollars and about $90 a month just for one kind of crummy, not organic cup of coffee. You can get this Live Good Organic Healthy Weight Management Coffee for about 60 cents, I think is, is about where it shakes out to be. Um, but I always recommend just drinking an organic, clean, single source coffees. It's really got, it's really important that you do that. So, right. And when yeah. speaking about price, you know, it's $17.95 for members. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So 30 servings of coffee for mm -hmm. $17.95. And right. like you were about saying, average price when you go and buy a coffee out is like two and change. Sure. And that's on the lower end. So just think about what you're, what you're really getting out of this. Um, and it's a small little petite container and the price is so right that you can keep it in your bag or you can keep one in the office and one at home. I mean, it's just so, so easy and so versatile. Yeah. All right, um, let's take a few questions. Do you have any other questions, Lisa, that you wanted to answer? I, I think we've covered all- How much caffeine in one I, scoop? Oh, there we go, 100 milligrams. It does say it on the, on the uh, labels. So I do get that a lot. Please, everybody read the label, check it out. Caffeine content, 100 milligrams. Yep. Um, Flavoring? Organic flavor, uh, it says on there, other ingredients, organic flavor, it is a organic espresso flavor. Espresso. Okay, yep. so it's not any funky chemical compound that's our flavoring. It's organic espresso flavor. Okay. Yeah, CBD can go in your protein or in your coffee too. Sure. Yeah, CBD can go whatever. CBD be fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So look, we're 18 minutes afternoon. We always try to keep these calls between 15 and 20 minutes. I hope you guys got a lot out of this today. Um, I certainly enjoy drinking our coffee. Remember, it's just don't screw it up by adding in all the sugary. <laughs> yeah, keep, <laughs> sugary it, keep it simple, keep it healthy, <laughs> keep it what it is. But yes, if you guys have any further questions, please reach out to me. Um, email, everybody has my email address, so I am here to answer more questions. But if you have not tried the coffee, you've got to give it oh, a yeah, try. Okay, for sure. We do have a 90 day empty bottle money back guarantee. Guys, buy it, try it. If you don't like it, send it back, but I guarantee you will. That's right. All right, guys, take care. Have a great, healthy, productive week. All take right, care. Bye, bye. now.